Hey guys, how you doing? Um, your good friend Chuck here. I am going to do a review because uh, I haven't seen a review on these bulbs in a um, 2007 Chevrolet 1500. Um, these are a little bit new to me. Maybe they're not new to the market, but they are new to me. I, I've always been an HID guy. I've been really hot on the HIDs. I think HIDs in some applications do uh, maybe a better job. Um, but I'm going to tell you something right now. The people at uh, Oxbeam um, hooked me up with a set of um, S2s to review. Um, and I've got to say I'm going to post a picture of the two um, side by side comparison one with one without um, at the at the end maybe in the clip I, I, I don't know um, but I want you to understand these headlights are bright they are amazing they are some of the um, nicest HIDs that I have seen in a vehicle granted like I said I've been an H I, I've been an HID guy um, but LEDs man they're coming a long way and Oxbeam has got it down um, started out I had a set um, they had sent me to review in an F-250 that I had the F-250 didn't turn out too great the uh, the bulbs were, were a, uh, a it was a dual bulb and and when I say dual bulb I mean the highs and the lows were in the same bulb um, they didn't turn out too well and after doing some contemplating, I think I know why that was. You have to orient, the, how about this, the orientation of the bulb has to be correct. Um, it has to be setting side by side, otherwise you're going to get a scatter pattern on your, um, your bulbs. But um, I, I did some reading, I did a little learning. And uh, call, I sent an email to the uh, the folks at at Oxbeam, and they said, you know, um, you've been a loyal customer. We'll go ahead and send you another set to review. And I I'll be honest with you, I was a little gruff with them um, towards the middle of the conversation because they didn't want to do it. They didn't want to send me a set to review. I wanted to send the other set back, you know, do an even swap, and uh, and. For some reason, they say, go ahead and keep the other set. Solid company, that's what I'm saying. But um, I'm sitting out here in my 1500 right now, and uh, I just kind of want to show you um, exactly what they look like against a, a white garage door. Um, don't judge my garage. It's filthy, I know. We're setting up for a for a uh, yard sale at some point in the near 20 years. But um, let me just let me just show you what you're gonna see um, whenever you whenever you put a set of these in. They got it down. I mean, look at that, guys. That is bright. Granted, and the box you see there, that's the box. I'm going to show you a picture of it. Um, that that is, that is a good pattern. I mean, I did a little adjustment. I brought them down a little bit because the the regular halogens were so dim. They had to throw so far. But these just bright. They they lighten up the night. I mean, it it's crazy. And that is just low beams. I plan on buying some high beams as well because these are insane and I'm loving them. Um, but it is it, it it's amazing. I took it out for a drive. I'm not going to do that. Um, 
but I'm pretty close to the garage. So let me just start her up here. Where's my keys? Do I have my keys? I don't think I have my keys. Yeah, there's my keys. Let me get them out. Let me just start her up. Let's see what they look like as I back up. Look at that pattern. I'm telling you, they are some bright, bright LEDs. And, um, you know, I looked at them coming on. They're no more bright head on than they are looking at them, you know, from a from a normal a normal car. I brought them down a little bit to help out with that maybe, but uh, yeah, I mean, when when you're heading towards my truck, you're not blinded because the scatter pattern is non-existent. It's a beam. It's perfect, and I don't have projectors. Um, They're just amazing. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I do know what else to say. Let me let me start with this. Aux Beam, thanks for hooking me up. You guys make a quality product. I haven't run them in the truck over a day, so we'll see how the weeks progress. But just out of the box, fresh install, new bulbs, they're great. Um you know these are simple plug and play i don't know how many of you have ever installed hids hids are a pain they are they're such a pain and not not so much you know in in the you know the connection it, it, the connection is is easy if you're any bit mechanically inclined i mean really a novice could install them if you look at the instructions but they're cumbersome. You have to deal with a ballast. You have to deal with multiple wires. A lot of times, if they don't have a single ballast per bulb, you have to deal with a crossover. Like in my F250, it was a it was a single wiring harness. These are just plug and play, plug and go. Um, my daytime running lamps don't cause a flicker in this truck. I looked at the voltage input. The voltage input is 9 volt to uh, 24 volt. Yeah, that's right. 9 volt to 24 volt uh, input. So it's not going to flicker. Although, if it does, you can always buy. Uh, they they make a anti-flicker or a can bus is what it's called. It's a it's a some more wealthy individuals out there have a uh, better truck than this and whenever one of their headlights go out it throws a error code and you see it on your dash the CAN bus canceller um, it'll take care of the flicker it'll also take care of the um, little warning light that you get but solid bulbs guys thanks thanks for sending them out I'm gonna buy some I'm gonna buy some uh, some high beams. I'll do a review on those too. I can't imagine how bright it's going to be with both of these. Me living out here, um, I live rural. It's not bad, but I do a lot of backwoods driving. Gonna need them. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll turn them on and just show you how bright they are head on, standing, looking at the truck. And the beautiful color, I mean, you can't beat. You cannot beat. Look how it bright lights me up. I mean, it's crazy. Little shout out to S Sky. None of these people pay me, so, um, you know. Sky Firearms, killer. All right. Wait a minute. That sounded bad. Yeah, let's not say that. <laughs> Sky Firearms, you make a great defensive weapon. Um, also fun to take to the range. Anyway, let me um, let me swap this camera around again. There, there you go. go. There you go. Love my Bama. But look how bright that is. These are uh, 6K. 
they um, they say eight 8k on the on the bulb itself but I don't know if that's a typo or if perhaps the boxing was just a little bit incorrect somewhere there's a there's a uh, disconnect but uh, I mean it's maybe it'll dim up here look at that look at that yeah they're a little hazy I need to need to clean that up but uh, yeah man it's great so these are them these are them ox beam that's the model s2 h11 is what my truck takes I think 9005 is what the high beams are for this truck they're crazy they're bright they're beautiful I'm proud of you guys for uh, stepping up taking care of me on this and uh, letting me review your product whether you decide to put this on your on your website or not that's completely up to you whether you decide to uh, completely ignore it that's up to you I'm putting this out there for everybody else that likes modifying their vehicles for uh, better visibility so thank you for watching the video you got any questions Leave them in the comments. You want to make fun of me? Then <laughs> leave them in the comments. Just keep it clean because I don't like the language and I will delete it. Um, but regardless, thanks again, Oxbeam. One more shout out. I got to say it. Thank you. You took care of me. You're a solid company. And um, I wish the best. Peace.